Hello, and today it's just a little tutorial to show you how to do a circle pixel like this one with a simple shape with Blender. So first let's delete that. Okay, and start our room. So from Blender I will just add a simple circle for 20 pixels. I'm selecting 20 vertices and then here I can do the right size I want. Then I will just design it with 20 millimeter 8 then here I'm designing everything okay just fill it bridge and do the normal okay do some shade smooth here okay here we are and now the most important part here it's the UV map so I will select everything and unwrap as a cylinder here I have choice option align to object, polar zx, etc. etc. So you can see the UV map seems okay, but in reality it is not. Um, because when you select one phase, you can see that this one is not in the right place. So to fix that easily, it's just select by edges and here zero, then the second one should be at one at y here zero and last one at one. Okay. So from now, if I'm checking the faces, so this one, it's here, select at this one, it's the same, it's the same location and still the same location. If I'm selecting just after, it's just after, etc, etc. So all is working correctly. So this, you can export it as an FBX format file. Here, I'm overwriting what I've done. And here, I can import this module in material, okay. Just expand it, go to the default material imported. Here, inside the DMX matrix, as usual, that's only a DMX matrix, nothing new. Here, 20 pixels. Then don't forget to set it as with emissive to see it inside the light. And then I need to add from the library DMX matrix, so you can search for it. I'm patching 20 of them. So not double kicking because it's only one. So I'm moving, grouping to avoid to have some uh, issue there. And then the mix matrix programmer, I liked everything. So it's working fine. Okay, perfect. So from here, what I will do is just a simple effect to check it. So on the red, I will do a simple effect, really basic here with maximum and so yeah. You can already see the effect and I can increase the speed. Then I can paste it here and change the speed to something different. And so that's it. So from this 3D model, you can also create a fixture. It will not be explained here. So I have created this little fixture, which is here. So come here, please. Yeah, that's fine. And from here, I will just make an overwriting of the dynamic selects because it is exactly the same but done into a fixture. And with that, you can have the beam working correctly here. So this is uh, both results you can have. This one with dynamic matrix, this one with fixture, but you need to develop your own fixture. See you.